Me and Dermot back at it again, getting hammered and trying to drink each other under the table and over the table, and sometimes in the table. Welcome to the Try Channel. Bring it on, I wanna try them all, I'm so excited. I'm petrified for my own life. No, it's gonna be lovely. We did a whiskey shoot before together. Did we? And always people give out in the comments, they were like, that's not what distilling is. Oh, someone tell those girls what distilling oh. is. And I'm like, oh whatever, I'm drunk, I don't care about the facts. <laughs> I'm gonna ask a question. Did I not do this last week? <laughs> Jim Beam. Jim Beam. Oh, Jim Beam. It's, it's all bourbon, man. This is different kinds of bourbon. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Hey, Buffalo Trace, made by a buffalo, drunk by man. Dougie, straight bourbon whiskey, oh. yeah! Whoa, that blew my own eardrum there. If there ever was a more <gasps> Kentucky vibe to drink, it has a bison on the front. They even have his dong in the illustration. Hey, do you like fields and being an American and looking at big hairy cows? Hmm. Buffalo Trace is for you. Okay, cheers. Cheers! Ooh. It's nice. <laughs> yeah? Is it nice? Mm -hmm. Oh, this, oh, I'm just happy right now. This is exactly what I needed on a Monday. Very gentle. It's, it is, it's too gentle. <laughs> Oh, sorry, um, sorry. <laughs> My reaction was shock, was it? It's like you were bracing yourself for something. Oh, this is gonna, this is gonna be a really strong day. Oh my God! There's nothing to it. Like, was, is that what yeah. that was? That was not nice. Did, I just, I tried to look at her to see if she made a face, but I couldn't see through my own pain. <laughs> Would you drink that all night, though? No, I think it's exactly what you said. It's like a nightcap at the end. Yeah. It's like a nice little uh, sleepy wi willow before bedtime. Ooh. Yeah, tasty enough. Uh, not the best bourbon I've ever had in my life, but I uh, wouldn't say no to it either. Uh, God, I wish it was like you, a lumberjack of a man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's. Re I'm really bad at giving like tasting notes. It's really nice. I, again, definitely lean towards Irish whiskey. I don't know why I feel like people tend to think that Irish whiskey is more burny and has less of a softer flavor, but I quite like that. But this is really nice. Fantastic. Yeah. This is good, I like it. Another. Hey, benchmark! Benchmark? Well, I mean, they're kind of fucking... They're kind of setting themselves up with this, this yeah, name, right? Yeah. Jesus Christ. So, here we have McAfee's. That's the fucking uh, firewall that you get for your internet browser. Benchmark? I mean, someone was sitting in on the branding meeting with Jack Daniels and taking notes. It kind of looks like the bourbon in a sports bar, you know? You're like, give me some wings, and what's that, bourbon? Yeah, give me some bourbon. Uh, Bianca, what do you want? In 1770... Oh, no, I can't do it. In 77! It doesn't smell that bad. Yeah, you're thinking it's going to be a little smoother. Same percentage. Yeah. Uh, the bourbon made at the distillery that originated there sets its own benchmark, uh, by which all others are judged. Yeah. So they're just, it's not just a name. They're flat out saying this is the benchmark of all bourbons. Okay, that's way, way more watered down than the last one. There's not much kick to it, is there? Like, I agree. <laughs> No, I don't like it. <laughs> but there's a kick at the end. There's something like going, oh, don't forget about me. You right? <coughs> it tastes like a urinal. How a urinal smells. Why did it smell so grand, but then taste so like not good? Sometimes they're deceptive and then they that, don't. That's some sneaky shit going on now in that glass that is. That's not my favorite one now. I don't know what it is about it. I preferred the last one. I think the last one was richer. I think this is benchmark. Oh, this is a benchmark for what? I mean, this is uh, <laughs> a benchmark for bad bourbon. <laughs> Am I right, Dermot? Hey. Us, us bourbon connoisseurs, we hey. know what we're talking about. Um, it's listen. It's <laughs> it like, doesn't it's, just taste like pain and suffering. <laughs> you okay? Mm, it's the benchmark for strong taste, but whether that's good taste. Well, now that's in the eye of the beholder or the mouth of the drinker. Do you feel a little bit tingly? In the mouth. Yeah, on my tongue. Yeah. Is, is that, that not nice though? Is that not what it's supposed to do? Yeah, see, I like that. You I like, like a little bit of a lingering, like, oh, I'm still here. I, I feel bad. It's not the worst thing I've ever had, like, but it's... You, you call yourself benchmark. That's like me calling myself uh, Daddy Big Dick. Do you know what I mean? Because I'm, I'm not a father, and... and 
tiny penis. So I think I'm just not really a drinker for I feel like an Irish we person. Need to go on a night out where I have vodka crans and I love vodka, and then you have whiskey. Oh my god, like swap places, yeah. like Freaky Friday. Freaky I'm Friday. Kira, you're Shannon. Yeah. But then you have to go around like this, like for the whole time, <laughs> and then I have to go around like this. Is that what I do? <laughs> If you didn't have your first drink in a field, are you really Irish? Yay! No. Colin, are you giving me like just slightly more every time? Or he am is, I just he drunk? is. Look, he's giving me slightly less. I, I love, love you. you. I love he's you. He's a good producer. <gasps> hey! Oh, I love this one. Oh, bullet. Bullet. I love oh. the bottle. Now, this is a beautiful bottle. This is gorgeous. I, I, I think I've only ever had this in videos or when someone's bought it for me. Because that shit is expensive. 45. 45 percent. 45! Well, that's what it's called, bullet. It doesn't say too much about it. Kentucky straight bourbon, high rye mash bill and pure Kentucky limestone. Limestone thing don't work. It's Kentucky a limestone region. This is a real saloon drink. I would imagine this yeah. is what Doc Brown had uh, when he when he, when he he uh, keeled over. Is he an old friend of yours? <laughs> yeah, yeah. He, he died in 1885. So you were about 20? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. That's smoother than the last one, and it's strong. The last alcohol. one, I'm telling you, the last one was not good. <laughs> that is lovely. Oh, that's got wit. Your yeah, it's definitely more of a kick. Oh, can't imagine a whole house smelling like that. You wouldn't get much done, like, but it'd be lovely. <laughs> Why couldn't you put the bottle on my side? It could have filled me up again. Oh, god damn it. Ah, oh, you son of a bitch, Colin. That's so smart. You're smart. Ah. <laughs> Oh, Dermy, look, do you remember the last shoot we did? And it was like, I don't know. So sorry, Jesus. Beautiful. Did you actually enjoy that? No! <laughs> I'm sorry! The final one is. Oh, look at this bad boy! Fancy! Is it a giant true, darling. We're going back to a time when America didn't was, even have labels. Was still they just put the year on it. This bottle, uh, I don't care. I honestly don't care what this tastes like because the bottle is magnificent. Pretty great. Incomparably brash and bold, yet smooth and balanced. Mm. That's about. what I look for: an incomparably brash and bold drink. Forty-six point eighty-five percent. That's some real mad shit, isn't it? It's pretty high. Or 93.7 proof for those Americans who think when we say percentages, it's how much we put in the glass. Anyway. Just keep an open mind. Know that it's Oh, my burn. mind is 100% open. Like, but my taste buds are like, why are you doing this to like, us? Expect the heat and just be like, do you know oh, what? Oh, I expect it. I know it's gonna be and burning then, as fuck. You, like, I, it'll be grand. Cheers, <sighs> Slancha. Expect the heat. Expect the heat. Man, I just feel real sad all, all the time now. I think this is forever. That ain't half bad. Oh, I hate you. Fantastic. Small batch. Big taste. Hey, what? It's not, it's not terrible. It's not bad. I think when I pumped myself up saying expect the heat, it actually made my brain be like, this is fine, this is okay. Yeah! That's grand, like, ooh. Do you know what? Ooh, that's kind of nice. That no? didn't gag. I didn't go, I gotta go. Uh, it's, it's very so strong, it's getting me nice and drunk. Feeling happy, feeling good, feeling, um, feeling glass. Or should, sorry, I mean class. <laughs> I think this is like probably a special occasion bourbon. Like I really enjoyed it, but I probably wouldn't get it for a night out. If a baby was born or somebody was dying or somebody was getting married, you would like whip this out. We'll never know what it would have been like to have been born in, or living in that time, but we can know what it would have tasted like. And that, my friends, is how history connects us and also makes us forget because if you drink too much, you'll have no history of the night before. That was, that was, that was lovely. Yeah, it's delightful now, I have to say. Definitely can drink them straight, but I think how you drink alcohol is absolutely perfect. Like, don't change it. I'm happy. Mary Claire is happy. I'm as happy as a pig and shite. Bullet was the best, and the worst was one of the first two, because I can't tell the difference, difference, and I can't really remember them. The worst was Dermot. Ha <laughs> ha Burn. Mic drop. Hey, did you enjoy me whining like a little baby? Well, if you did, make sure you like, 
hit that subscribe button, hit the bell, and then uh, comment below your favorite uh, sports team. Am I did I do that right?